to fillet a salmon. In this movie, I would like to explain how to fillet a salmon. Before filleting it, as you have to remove the skin by skibiki method, it is better to remove the fins beforehand. From the tail toward the head, slide the knife up and down and remove the scales by skibiki method. This method is recommended to be performed on fish that are big but have small scales, such as flounders and yellowtails. This method also permits to nicely remove scales and prevent the flesh from breaking apart. Place the shinogi on the fish body and widely move the knife up and down. This sukibiki you see in this movie is called kantobiki. If you do the same thing but in the opposite direction from left to right, it becomes kansai biki. By nicely removing the scales, the bacteria number decreases and prevents scales leftovers so it can be also stored afterwards. Therefore, try to remove scales as much as you can. After you finish removing both side scales, cut off the head. Common bones are rather soft, so you should be able to easily cut off the head. After cutting off the head, clean the scales of the surface and inside the belly. Then wipe the moisture of the fish body and let's fillet it into three pieces. With the knife edge, make an incision to the anal fin and at the second move, slide the knife on the bones and cut through until the spinal cord. Next, make an incision on the shitami backside. Make an incision on the base of the dorsal fin. At the second move, cut through until the spinal cord. Make sure not to lift the flesh too much at this time. If you do so, you may break it apart. Insert the knife where the spinal cord is attached and slide the knife on the spinal cord until the head side. As the salmon belly is wide and is dropping down, when you slide the knife on the spinal cord, make sure not to cut the belly side. To prevent cutting the belly, you can hold the belly side and fill it, or lift with your left hand thumb the filleted back side, lower the knife tip angle, and cut through the belly bones. Let's fillet the wami now. Cut the fin bones of the anal fin part first. Next, cut the spinal cord part. Slide your knife between the spinal cord and the backbone as if you were cutting below the bone until the tail. This method is frequently used when filleting a big fish. By filleting without flipping the fish, you prevent it from damages. But the cut remaining of the spinal cord and bones of the dorsal fin tend to remain, so remove them afterwards. For the spinal cord cut remaining, you can remove it by making an incision of a V shape. Remove the ventral fin part moving along the bone. Do the same when removing the belly bones. As the fish body is long, do not try to do it at one time, but in several times. Remove the white skin too, and next, let's remove the dorsal fin bones. Move the knife along the white line where bones remain, flip it, and place the knife so it fits the flesh. Make sure not to leave any white string. This is how you fillet a salmon. If you want to know how to cut it into saku blocks, how to skin it, and how to make salmon sushi, please watch other movies. Thank you for watching. If you look at the description of this movie, you can find the link that dispatches information regarding sushi, recruitment information, trial lessons, and the homepage of Tokyo Sushi Academy. So please have a look. Subscribe now and receive information regarding the movie's updates. Please press like on our Facebook and other SNS. 
Thank you for watching.